Hey guys, how's it going? It is Eve, and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Eve Online. So, uh, over the past few days, I was letting the skill skill queue kind of train up here, and we actually have some uh, hacking skills now. Uh, so we could we could head out do some exploration here. We're just about to break seven. Uh, sorry, one million skill points. Well, not close, but we're we're getting there. Uh, so we're gonna be running our prob pretty much our very last agent here, um, which is gonna be our exploration agent. Um, so we can get ourselves some. Actually, there's only five here. You know what? We will do something a little different here. We did industry. What do you give me here? Give me some miners, that's pretty much it. You give me some... a good chunk of money. Um... Yeah, no. We know how to mine, and really all we get is a frigate. So, I've been thinking and we are gonna start slow boating and finding a new home. We're not gonna be living out here in the rookie system for a while, so... We will... Pack up everything we can and haul these to our next destination, which will be wherever so we can grab all these skill books and just drop them in there. Um, I've actually got a comment saying that we should go and PvP here. Actually, I can bring up the entire comment. Give you, give me just a second. Which, which I, which I pretty much agree with. Uh, just we're a low, low character, right? We don't have all that much uh, skill points, so it's a bit harder for us to you know, kind of get ourselves into the PvP. Where is it? That was here. And pause. Yeah. Uh, it's doing some uh, N NPSI, which is uh, not purple, shoot it. Uh, or some incursions. The thing with incursions is that we we can't even go close to incursions with it with this kind of ship here. Uh, we would have to train up for a more advanced ship here, uh, which I believe would have to be. I believe it's at the Mega Megathron that we have to train into because we're Calente, so we could just go straight into the Megathron here. Uh, what was it? Hold on. You know, let's let's look at this. This was, I believe it's called, I could be wrong here, where's my internet, there it is. Uh, let's make this bigger, and kind of, let's set ourselves skill queue here. Let's hit Google, and let's go, uh, warped. warped to me incursions, kind of just see uh, more of, uh, more, f more fit wise than what we have to really train for. Which is really all I'm kind of going for. Uh, Warp to me permissions, where are you? Incursion fits. Logistics fit, DPS shoot one. Oh, those are tactics, okay. Incursion fits here. Um, yeah, no, these are the forums. We don't really want this. Go back to community index. Okay, then. Um... Did they not? I, I thought they had... Maybe it's in their wiki here. Uh, guide to ships, maybe it is? Uh, let's see here. Tech 1. The only viable Kaldari Tech 1 BS is the Rook. Rook, Rock here. Menmatar is the Maelstrom. Let's see here. Fit gyros. Galente's the Dominix here. And then Amar. Okay, that just. Amar sucks. Tech 2. Yeah, we're not even gonna go. But see, here's the Meg Mega. Mega. Uh, Navy Megathron here. Maybe, just maybe. Uh, Galente. Yeah, no. Pirate. Yeah, we're not even gonna look at Pirate because, well, they're, right now they're out of the question. But if something we could, let's see, Garistas is called, no, I believe, uh, okay, that's Minimitar, no, yeah, okay, we, we're not even going to look for them right now. 
Pirates, we really have to, like, Blood Raider just don't bad Vindy. Okay. It doesn't really, uh, what I'm kind of looking for, kind of looking for your entire fit here. But, since I believe we should start training to them here. In, uh, incursion tactics? No, we were already here. Official. Ah, uh, there they are. Fits. Okay. Uh, battleships here. And let's go preferred starter battleships. Hyperion is the only pretty much viable option we can get right now. You know, let's, let's just bring this down here. Bookmark this site. Add. Okay. What are ex other acceptable ones? Galente. Dominix is acceptable, okay. Um, what do we have to train here? Okay. This doesn't look too, too hard to train into. It's just a matter of getting these tech twos out of the way. Is ship's requirement. That's only a day, so we can rearrange our skill queue here. This is going to take a little bit. This is going to take 45 days. Which will be almost like, what, 45 episodes? Give or take. We could... Okay, what else is here? Armageddon. Other acceptable battleships. Pirate faction, out of curiosity. Yeah, okay, we're done there. T3s. Just the low-key logistics ballast skimmy. Optimal battleships. Anyways, the Vindicator, which is a e faction. Uh, dual web minimum. What's the minimum here? Pretty much just like the Megatron. Yeah, other than that, no really big difference here. Um, Vindicator improved DPS. Yeah, okay, but this ship is gonna set us uh, back quite a bit. Yeah, it's almost, let's say, 700 mil? We don't really have the money for that. So right now our only viable option will be to jump down here and go through with the Hyperion in order to get ourselves into incursions. And that should get us some pretty good money. So we, we, we'll try that. This should also set us nicely into some other things. So let's actually go and save this fit here. Yeah, we're still using our mission running fit. Really terrible fit. Uh, Battleships Hyperion. Here we go. And let's open up our skill queue. Kind of start setting stuff up here. Alright, so we can train this. Let's let's clear let's clear all this. Remove. And motion prediction. Actually, you know what? Instead of that, let's train into level 1 for right now, just to make it easier on ourselves. So, gunnery level 4, that's all we really need into there. Shield expander here. Shield expander 2 is the shield, and that's that. We need 4. Okay, so there's 4. Uh, I can't tell if we can use that or not. There we go. We can use the micro warp drive, uh, the invulnerability shield. We need to step that into level 4, like so. Damage control is only a day, I believe. Yep. Okay, so damage control, tracking enhancers, which is two of those. Well, actually, I don't need to really count how much two. So that's level 4 right there. So that's, so far, we're sitting at 14 days. Okay, that's down. This is here. And level 4. Oh, whoops, that's level 5, we already have that, that's the same module. Whoops. Rigs, we don't need to worry about. Ammo, I believe, comes with the gun. Yeah, that, that, okay, we can, we, oof. Yeah, that'll come with the gun. And drone-wise, our requirements here. Drone's level 3 only, so, oh, it's on level 5. So we can drop drone's 5. We might even move uh, drone's 5. Five up here, kind of, because of how important technically they are in terms, you know what, we're gonna drop drones at the very top. 
So, when we even go mission running for money in order to pay for this fit, it'll be much easier. And we'll pick those skills up later. And the ogre here is just Tron's, Tron's 5 heavy drone operation. We'll probably be a while before we can train into these. So 20 days, 11 hours, 35 minutes, and 45 seconds it'll take us to get the fit. Uh, the majority of the fit. We can get pretty much everything tech 2 down here, except for the guns, which will be 1, sadly. So... We will go and start making our money for the Hyperion here. Uh, and the only way to do that would be to find ourselves a... Whoa, uh, oh, my map set wrong. Uh, where is it? Region security statuses. We are here. So find ourselves a home. Because, well, who, we need to find a place to live. I know a quiet kind of place to to live, but it's really far away in kind of like, well, I live there on my other accounts. I like the region. It's The systems are quiet. Mining could get done pretty quickly there without having to be worried about ganking. Uh, let's let's actually let's go back to st statistics here and go in the last 30 minutes. Uh, oh, really? There's like no one in space there. Okay, which is bridge pilot in space. Okay. Let's see. Where was I? Okay, here is Zincon. So that means right here. Nope, that's close though. Right? Where are you? That's Corazor Prime. That's my main base. Like that. Is there low sec? No, it's not. I can't find the system. There it is. We live out here. We'd go live out in this pocket. It's close to low sec. Which could be nice if we wanted to head out, do some exploration out on the side here. We have uh, access to Delve, period bases. We have Quinarios out here, Stain. And the other Russian regions, we have Fountain, we have, uh, I believe it's Aridia here, you have Solitude. Solitude, no, yeah, Solitude is a good place also, but it's uh, really out there, so not not the nicest. Um, let's see here. Can I look at missions? No, I can't. I think... I know there's a level 2, because the missions I would run out there would be for the MR Navy. But the thing is, if we go with the MR Navy, the problem with that is if we run good enough missions, we'll eventually get ourselves kicked out of Galente space. That's what happened with my other account. I, I was just running for the MR Navy, and I got kicked out of Galente space. Well, not really kicked out, it's just that when I warp in there, uh, Concord, or... They just don't like me there. Uh, so, or, because really, I don't know any good places to live out in Galente space. I have nothing against Galente space. A little busy in certain places, but that's pretty much it. So there's Syndicate. What's this here? No sack, yeah. Kaldari space, not so much there. I'm kind of sick of the place. Living out there for my entire Eve career. Amatar. It's enough of a good place here. Uh, not a lot of people. Uh, Rens is the closest trading hub, but the prices there are actually pretty, pretty high on certain items. So not necessarily the best. And for Ord uh, Ordeon here to Amar, you're looking at about, I believe it's like 15 jumps, maybe, or so. That's a bit far. Uh, we could head out, live out in where is the system? It is right here. Nope, Zymus. Um, not, not Kuna. Minori here. If I can select that system. Come on. Right here. It's a good system. One station. It's out in Kador. It has lots of mining belts. So if we have to mine out on the side, in case we have to build something, we can. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so I'm narrowing it down to either Minori, 
Manori here, uh, Ordeon in that uh, vicinity, or somewhere else. You know, I really don't know where to really live. Because I'm not gonna, because, well, hmm. Uh, these, these take up a lot of space, don't they? The ships. Where is my mouse? There you are. Yeah. There, 2,500. We could only really move one of these at a time, so it's gonna be a little kind of crazy moving these ships all the way down to order on, which is down here. I I know you have level three. You have level if you have you have level three in here in the system. You have level two, I believe, out here, which is MR security. So you know what? Let's find. Uh, is it under help? No, that's career agents. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's press F10 here. And agent finder. I'm gonna double check these. If I can, region solar system. Oh, this is gonna be a while. Kador. Oh, there we go. Orville. I think we passed it, did we? Yes, we did. Or slot. Uh. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Or vol? Okay, we're close up. There we are. Okay. See, I see we don't have level up. Oh, whoops, we have our faction selected. Let's go any. Oh, yeah, we. No, no, these are storyline, though. Uh, what? Oh, it's Misha, which is the second system over. Where am I going? There you go. Um, am I. I believe it's me. M I S A. Uh, a. Some of these systems here. Manny. Uh, mute. Mia. Mm -hmm. Where are you here? Um, Misha. No, there isn't any. Maybe we could. Uh, let's reset. So we will go. We will change it, we'll go region, and this is the Corazor region out here. Corazor, these are the family though, so we want to, ch no, no, we want a uh, corporation to be Amar Navy. Really, the only Amar Navy are out in, or uh, are only two storylines. I know we can, if we just, we need to find a level one out here. Uh... Let's let's just do this. Let's go any. That's epic arc. We're not ready for that. Uh, here's one, which is five jump, nine jumps out, which isn't bad. Uh, location, where are you? You're out in Genesis. Problem with Genesis is, uh, can I see you on the map? Show on map. Okay, you can open this map. I don't like this map. Anyway. Uh, where are you? Okay, so he the system's right here, which is one jump out of low. We might be getting a few missions out here in low, which isn't a problem because we can get in and out pretty quick. But it's the matter of getting into the system. Sometimes you might get camped in there. But for a start, in order to get ourselves set up for our, our money, in order to get into that Hyperion. It could be a viable option. So, you know, let's 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 do this. Let's open up a uh, accessory notepad and new note, let's just name it notes. Simple for that. We can just kind of let's, let's do it this way. Where are you? Drag and drop, drop you there. And I'll open up station info. Okay. Yeah, and there's another one which is in the system right over. Point five will give us better rewards, and if we go out into point one out here, uh, Yule, which is 14 jumps away. I think I've actually been into that system. Where are you? Which is you're in the domain region. Okay. Next here, Yule again, which is storyline. Problem is, yeah, is there no really no storyline out there? Uh, yeah, you, there is no storyline, which there's no problem out there. Wait, is there? Yeah, no. Okay. 
security yule. Uh, I know about this system. I've been, I believe I've been into this system here. Whoops, not show info. It was just domain. I think we've passed through that system before. Uh, I think that'll be the best one because this is just getting. Uh, this is in Tash Merkin. Uh, show on map here. Okay. You are all the way out here. You are a bit of a nicer system, but the security state is, is not what I like. I might, I'm even thinking of heading out to Syndicate to run these missions, uh, just to make yourself some more money, but with risk, uh, I don't know if it's worth it to kill our uh, board, like kill board so early. Uh, Mandu, I know about that. That system's camped a bit. Well, not really camped. It's more uh, kind of not the nicest system. Yeah, that's that's it. We're, we're going to head out to Genesis, which is the Nine Jumps. And, you know, let's just let set... No. Let's set that for a... So we can come back and grab our ships. Hold it. Uh, double check we have everything we have all of our garbage in our ship here which we'll eventually either need or move out all right so we will get moving out here so looks like incursions so we set ourselves on incursions we will run incursions make ourselves some money and then probably go PvP because well yeah that's that's gonna be our goal for right now uh, we're, our goal is to get the Hyperion fit then start running incursions after that we can go and probably PvP uh, I haven't decided fully yet because, well, that's Geef. You don't have... You decide on one thing, and then the next day, you decide on a whole other thing, and it just goes out of... And everything you thought of the previous day just goes... You don't even hear about it anymore. So it's a bit... Kind of... Uh, a gamble, really. But we're gonna set our sights on the Hyperion fit that we have from uh, Warp to Me Incursions and fly with them for a while making ourselves some nice isk maybe even get ourselves into something shiny and i just want to double check something let's go show info on you and click you and corporation info here and okay friendly fire is illegal okay that's what i wanted to check all right so the good thing is, we picked a nice little system that is five jumps out. It shouldn't have all too many people, but I'm expecting to have a little bit more what people-wise, so... Really, there shouldn't be too big of a problem. We're running level one missions. Then, once we finish a level one missions, uh, we'll move out towards the Corazor region. Uh, I probably won't do that on camera, because that's going to be a heck of a trip. So, uh, when, like I said, uh, very first episode, I'm not going to be relying on my main character, well, not my main characters, I'm not relying on them for isk or anything, because, well, if that was the case, we could have been in Hyperion next episode. But, this is Let's Play EVE Online, and our goal is to play the game, and not pretty much spawn in everything, for which we could pretty much say would be the case, if you're giving money away from your main and just dropping it onto an alt so there's no no point in that we are gonna work work for it and gain it because well that that's what we're gonna do so five jumps out here what I'm probably I'm thinking of doing right now is well I'm gonna probably move all these ships into the system uh, off camera because it could get pretty lengthy here uh, but I still haven't fully decided here probably will if I've been out in Genesis in a really long time I got like you got your three nebulas here I think not that's just a cloud kind of thing I was gonna say that's Galdari but mm, 
No, I don't know. So, that'll be the case here. Oh yeah, uh, we're also, actually, if I believe this is the right system, uh, let me double check here. Uh, this should be where the epic are, oh no, no, wrong system. I got it mixed up with a different system. But one of these systems here is the one where, I believe it's even this one, Alatini or whatever it's called, is, uh, if you have the station, no you don't, you're not it either. Well, one of these systems around here have the, um, uh, not Amar, just the uh, epic arc. Which, once we get ourselves into a better ship and get some more fittings, we'll go run. Because I know that later on, the missions, it's not really the missions, it's more the in NPCs inside the missions have a, are, they're not more dangerous. They warp scramble you, and the only way for a younger player is to really pretty much warp in, warp out kind of thing. So, well, we have to get ourselves a good ship. We could probably run it in the Catalyst, but the thing is the Catalyst doesn't have much tank, and we pretty much go for DPS fit, and in order to get what the DPS fit is, you have to get up pretty much up close and personal and shoot them in the face in order to kill the rat or NPC that is in the uh, mission, um, dead space complex or mission zone. So that that's not the best. If we went cruiser, well, that would be just kind of overkill, uh, which isn't a bad idea. We can get it in and out in out and get our standings and the money because the epic arc's point was to actually just is to get newer players into the uh into a frig not a frigate a cruiser it's get into a cruiser and just make money into to, to get into a cruiser so Going in there with a cruiser to just to get ourselves into a cruiser doesn't make too much sense. I don't actually remember how much money you make off of it. I want to say maybe 10 million-esque. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but that could supply us for quite a bit uh, mission running. So we're here at our destination. Uh, let's jump in here. Uh, more research. Uh, um, it is the Ministry of War. I know where a level 4 hub for these guys are, which is nice. Agents, uh, security, available to you. Okay. So here it is. Uh, what station was it? Uh, dock. We'll just do that. We'll go and bookmark it real quick. And we can set a, uh, as baggy system is the one, which is our low sec. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll jump in here. We'll set our clone as for for right now as our kind of hub here. Is there any players out here, or is there just just going to be me running the missions? There's about ten people, which is not bad for a system. But since we're running missions, I'm not expecting a whole lot. Oh, we have level. Oh, that's level three. Okay, so yeah, it's just level one really. Just just me in this station. You know what? Let's get rid of these career agents. They are gonna bother me. Remove offer. Yes. And remove offer. Yes. Okay. There we go. And let's set our. Oh, there's no. Is there a clone? No, there's no clone. I can't really do much, can I? Actually, I could. Give me a second. If I. Undock here. Actually, could I do this in the station? Yes, I can. Set home station. 100,000 esque. Yes. Or that, then, you know, having to trap all the way back. So, let's unpack here. Select all. There's that. Oh, I got. And completed base of operations. So, according to this, we have our new base of operations. Uh, leave our ship. Set our destination back to here, and we're gonna go run and get our other ships. We're gonna bring back the destroyer because, well, 
Uh, that's gonna be a good ship. I know a fact that if I can, if we can, if I think it's the drone sh uh, in inner curse or something like that, if we can get that ship down here, I'm gonna have to double check. If we can do that, I believe I have a good fit for it, which could make us, which could pretty much grind us missions. There's, I don't really think it had a mission it had a problem with, except for that one where you're around the station and there's those rifters shooting you. I forgot the name of this. I forgot the name. Uh, not the Atron. Here it is. This was the ship. So, that would pretty much could be the case here. So... I, uh, where are you? Let's see. Attributes. Drone capacity. Five. So that's enough for one. One drone. I forgot what the T1, t uh, Tech 1 drone boat was. Uh, this is... No, that's since Tris, uh, Tris, the, uh, Tristan. Or Tristan, uh, doesn't really matter how you say it. Was the drone boat. Okay, I see now. That was the drone boat. Um, hmm. Fitting. Three, 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 three. So three guns could work. We just have to tank ourselves appropriately. Let's go and check this one, because this is an armor. We get a bonus to armor repair, which could be important to us, which is... Uh, three, three. We can tank better with this ship here. We could even slap on a, I believe it's, no, gyro? No, that's for, I forgot what it's called. I believe it's a gyro stabilizer. But that's, that's probably for the wrong, let's double check our fit here. That is for the wrong, uh, no, it's a magnetic field stabilizer is what we're, I'm thinking of. Not a gyro, gyro is for Minmitar. So three, three guns. Medium, we could fit a web. Web, a micro warp drive, got that. And we could fit something else. Low slots, we could fit an armor pair, two shield, uh, not shield, armor hardeners, and then a stabilizer, maybe. Rigs, we could slap on some nice rigs, because uh, Tech 1 small rigs are actually pretty cheap. So that's not bad. So, yeah, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this ship down first. And with that, we are going to start building our uh, mission mission boat. Uh, which I believe the closest one, uh, mission hub rather, to us would be... Let's open this up here and let me figure out how to use this search. Which would be uh, Dodixi here. Which is, how far away are you? Show info route you're four jumps away so we're pretty much in the middle and not far to be honest with you so we will probably hit Dodixie as a trading hub because well we're not gonna fly out to a uh, to Jita just for a fit here but we'll check the fit price in we'll make it an Eve fit then we will uh, drop it into Eve parcel if I can do that and check or we can uh, make it an Eve fit and then check it through Eve Central. It'll be a little bit of work, but we can get us the best price. Because right now my goal with this 2.5 million is to make money with it, but not lose money. Since we already have the hull, all we and I think we have the three guns, so we have guns. Really, the only thing we need to spend money on would be the armor hardeners and the... Uh, uh, armor hardeners and the rigs. And yeah, we don't really need it. We can stick with the civilian, which is probably not the best idea. But since we can loot a web from a rat, then that should be okay. While we're at it too, to make ourselves a bit more money, since we have so many ships, we could go and fit ourselves a salvaging ship. Maybe the Atron or something like that. Just just cargo expanders in the bottom and then a rack of salvagers. Which, it might not make us too much money, but it, it could make us something. Because, well, 
money money is good for us so that's what we'll do uh the only thing I, I i just remembered is that if we use if we had a storyline agent i know i forgot if you get it from the storyline agent or from the agent themselves you get one mission that gives you a pretty expensive implant i believe it's I believe I sold mine for about 20 million at one time. So, and that was from a level 1. I, I could be mistaken here. But that could put us ahead a pretty nice amount. Then all we really have to do is set ourselves into a cruiser and continue grinding our missions. And salvaging and stuff like that. And eventually we'll get ourselves the money for the Hyperion. So right now, my goal is set on the Hyperion Hall. Once we have the Hyperion Hall, we will start slowly working for the fit. Once we have the fit ready, we will pretty much go and try our very first incursion. We'll probably spend one whole episode learning about incursions because I'll be straight up honest, I've never ran an incursion. Uh, the biggest, closest thing I got into incursion was PvP, really. I know that incursions are technically, well, they're not much, they're like raids in a way, but not fully. Uh, who is here? Uh, okay, some guy. So that's what I was thinking. But yeah, that, that sounds like a very good idea. So set up this ship here. We have the fit. So you know, we're going to take the ship, we're going to fly it back to our destination, or to our base for right now. Then we will fit the ship uh buy whatever we actually we'll take the ship we'll go to the dixie buy what we don't have then fly out to our mission hub and run a mission see how it uh fits fits itself and works because that that sounds like a fairly good idea that and that that'll that shouldn't set us back a whole lot of money here because, well, and you know what we could do is keep track of everything. We could make ourselves a spreadsheet, which I'll probably do on uh, separately, maybe on a Google Drive or something, and, and link it so you guys can see how it's going on, how we're doing money-wise. We want to stay positive. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, it's money. Money is our main priority right now. How much is a Hyperion? Uh, here we go. Battleships, standard, Galanti. You're talking about 200, let's say 200 million? Just, uh, cause, oh wait, RV. Yeah, let's say 200 million. Which, we only have two. So we have about, we have 198 million more risk to go. Plus the fit. Let's, let's, because the, the most expensive thing on that will be the guns. The guns will be the most expensive. Ammo-wise, once we start running incursions, it won't be a big problem for us. So I, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, that, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. So we're here. Let's set our destination to, uh, do, to do Dixie here. Okay. Which is only six jumps, so it's pretty much in the middle. Six jumps there, six jumps there. So, not not bad for where we're living right now. We will come back for these ships later. We could also run the Tristan, but it might be a little bit. Uh, I don't know right now. Well, I'll move these ships later probably off camera like I was saying earlier so that we don't I don't spend too much time uh, wasting wasting time here so let's let's go here oh shoot we don't have the guns do we let's check our assets what do we have and what do we not have we have afterburner we have some ammo not too important since where well, how much too much space do you guys take up here you take up volume 5 we can stick in a civilian for right now uh, let's see here glinty destroyer metal scraps and do we have uh, here's the atron yeah okay nope not what I wanted I wanted the other I wanted view contents okay so we have an afterburner 
which is just about that. So we need to buy ourselves a micro warp drive. We have our three guns, so guns can get checked off. Civilian armor repair. We need to buy ourselves an armor repair. Oh, actually, no, we don't. No, we have one. So really, all we need is the four flavors of damage. And that's that's pretty much really all we need. And it's also some rigs. So, uh, whoops, I did not mean to dock. Okay, that that's that sounds that sounds reasonable. It shouldn't put us all back that much. If we're smart about how we buy, then it shouldn't be too big of a problem. So let's head over to Dodixie and set ourselves up. So for right now, since we have the guns, hold on, we can do it like this. We can set up if if I can do this off an iPad if they allow me here. So we can have it in front of us. I uh, only have... Okay, we can go to the Google Drive. We'll set it up, and you guys can... Uh, actually, wait, will this? Yes, this will be good. We can hit... Make it... Make one. Um, Google Sheets here. Oh, you want me to download the app? You're kidding me, right? Edit. Fine, we'll download it. It'll come in handy, because I actually use it for some other things here. And we can get that install. I'll let that install. Sign into the iTunes store. You want my password, don't you? Uh, what was it? I think that was it. Uh, require? Let's go. Uh, okay. So that's going. So yeah, I'll make some spreadsheets out here, and so we can keep track of everything, and also uh, get the shopping list done that we have, which we need. Our, our oh, we have guns. Really, all we need is ammo. Oh, a mammoth. That wasn't really a mammoth. That was the uh, Mad Soon, I believe it was. The Tech Two. We can go like that. Uh, okay, that sounds. That sounds. All right. So. Hmm. Just thinking of how much ammo we. Yeah, no, we can't do it. I was gonna add a bookmark to it from or way too far from it. All right, so here's this. Let's go and. Are you not letting me bookmark this station? There we go. Really? Set destination. Add waypoint. Oh, save location. You know, I was looking for bookmark. And we shall name this. Uh. So Dixie Trading Hub Station. And we don't need notes. Okay. There's that. And we can dock up here. Alright, so I don't know how this will actually be. So I'm going to just cut the recording, sign myself into my Google Drive, and we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, that plan uh, completely backfired on us. Uh, turns out the Eve, Eve Online browser isn't actually compatible with... Yeah, okay, so I went ahead and made the spreadsheet. So we are going to start shopping today. Uh, uh, this is going to go by pretty quick. That's that's very well, yeah, okay. And, yeah, buy that. Alright. Let's take what we have here... And put it on. Well, not put it on. Just put it in. So we have that. That that's a good start to our fit, kind of for these these missions here. And we need our asset window, set destination, and let's get off to the destination. So you guys are probably really tired of me warping. Uh, multiple jumps. So I'm going to cut the video here and get back to you guys once we get into our destination system. Okay, so we eventually, I eventually got to the system and so I went ahead and updated the spending history so we can keep a track of the money we made and how much we lost. Better than our wallet, it really just tells us how much we 
have and kind of spent, but it's not really what I wanted. So we're going to go ahead and destroy our Atron. By destroy, I mean uh, strip it of its fitting. Let's just go uh, strip fitting. Okay. So now what we can do is stack it. What we can? We can trap the guns in. We have our micro rope drive on. Small armor repair can go in. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's all in the ship still. So we can drag all that. Put this into our item hanger. Stack it again. Okay. Uh, magnetic field stabilizer. We can put that one in there. Ammo wise. Let's go ahead and group these and drop those in so we're gonna be running about 44.4 dps at the moment so our drone skill actually finished when i was kind of not recording that much so for the meantime probably the worst idea but it'll how much will they give me a dps okay for the meantime we'll put that in there now it's a matter of getting to the website here uh, which will tell us what to tank for. I'd rather kind of know what to tank for. I forgot what it was called. Uh, let's just type in online uh, mission mission guides. And uh, I was Eve survival. Okay. And once it loads, let's go ahead. Bookmark. Add at that. Close. And now. We could go... Where are you? Okay, so that, that, that's it for now. So let's go ahead and open our first mission here from our agent. At the drone infestation. Which, okay, we'll make... Uh, we get some loyalty points. So we can go accept that. Okay, hurry up. Uh, let's just type in the drone. It, sh it should be able to find it. If, oh wait, actually, since it's alphabetical, right? Uh, alphabetical, so we can just hit T here. If it's loading? Yeah, it's loading. Uh, okay, it's not there. So then, it is under D. Uh, da -da 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 drone, 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 drone infestation, rogue drones, level 1. So it is, uh, recommend dealing damage completed with an imicus. Uh, damage dealt all kinds. Okay, so what to expect? We have one defend battery. Destroy the drone silo. Okay, so we can really warp in, destroy the silo, and warp out kind of thing. So since it's all, uh, I forgot what drones have. Whoops, that's, that's the wrong internet. Uh... Let's actually, let's, can I pin this? Hold on, let's, yeah, no, hold on. Let's just, let's just do this and get, so we're going to be accessing this. Whoa. Accessing this quite a bit so we can go, let's take the browser bookmarks rather. It'll be a bit easier. Okay, there's that. Uh, hmm, doesn't really tell us much. Just as damaging all kinds. So we will go, what, what's our lowest here? It will uh, explosive hole. We do have a bit of a hole. Let's let's take a let's put our explosive on just for safety. And I know uh, this is a drone. We'll slap on some EM there. Okay. So and where are you? You are in one jump over. We'll head out there. We just need a double check that we have locked Neocom. We have ammo in our ship. We do not have ammo. And you just stopped responding on me. Uh, we'll drop in... Let's put in 5,000 for now. Kind of... Just so we can always have a bit so we don't have to keep reloading all the time. Okay. And let's go. Drones in space. Let's just set this up here. Kind of like so. And 
how much how long does a ship survive oh I should have been in station when I did this I should have uh, unticked this like put it offline and then we would be able to see how long a capacitor it's actually not really the capacitor wise it's more of the micro drive that's killing us here with the capacitor not really too too important uh do a hostile tackle fleet hostile what have two hostile tackles alternative okay let's go right click encounter warp to destination okay do i have warp to mission mining general all i don't have a mission um missioning tab do i i don't hopefully it'll come up if not we will uh Add something to the tab. Okay. What's here? Oh yeah, that's the it's acceleration gate. Activate the acceleration gate. Then we need to because there's no according to the website there's no a uh, whoa okay there's no okay whatever I got rid of the site but there's no aggression according to the uh, on warping so shown silo. Do these have a bounty? No, they don't really have a bounty. Uh, let's blitz towards it for right now. Let's go. Like that. And... What's our locking range? We'll find out pretty soon here. There we go. Stop that. Turn these two on and shoot here. Oh, it's a missile. Oh, okay. I think if we stay out a certain range, we shouldn't. Yeah, okay, no. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Come on, let's pop it and. Okay, they do pop up. And let's. That's done, and let's warp out. We're not gonna worry about anything here. Not too important. Okay. And if you could stop freezing on me please so okay that's so that's done right journal accepted completed okay that's that's great quick to the point we got into our shield a bit and well, well we will pretty much end the episode here this is probably a really lengthy episode so I wasn't actually expecting it to be this lengthy kind of some not so smart Ideas like, oh, I'm gonna fill up my spreadsheet while you guys watch. Not the smartest, but I apologize for that. I'll be doing this off camera from now on. At the end of every episode, if we spend money, so that's that's what it will do. And we'll see how much money we'll make. We'll start up a new tab on the spreadsheet. It'll the link will, to the spreadsheet will be down in the video description if you guys want to check it out. And let's dock up here quick. Come on. Not that we're being chased or anything. And let's complete this mission here. Uh, complete. Done. We are done. Okay, so before we even request another one, I want to check out this fit here. Whoops, that's corporation. Uh, fit. Okay, so... Okay, so let's uncheck the mic, like, well, unturn, turn off. So then it's a minute. Turn that off, it's stable. Run one, it's about, it's only, yeah, it's about 11 seconds, so. It, it's tight, it's tight. But, uh, we'll, we'll get our skills up. So, that is it for this video, you guys. Or episode, rather. Uh, Flat Andrus, we'll see you next episode. Which I believe will be episode 5. Flat Andrus, peace.